can. <gasps> Jesus Christ! Oh my God! What's happening? <laughs> this fucking thing almost killed me. Let's get it, players. Cross the keys in the room. Alright y'all, how we doing? We're actually gonna be heading to the liquor store right now, incorporating a new video idea. Let me hear what you think. Player's Potion. It's got a ring to it, doesn't it? So basically what this video idea is, I used to bartend back in the day, and uh, truly some days I miss it, other days I really don't miss it. You can do that, can't you Lloyd? You're not too busy, are you? <laughs> but honestly, there's a lot about bartending that I feel like I can share to you guys. Uh, maybe some of you guys have just never been to a bar. You don't know what type of drinks you like. Uh, so basically just getting you guys used to drinks and trying new stuff. Um, but first and foremost, I do have to say, have fun and enjoy yourself. Do not be drinking and driving. Don't be drinking and doing anything stupid. Uh, we're here to have a good time and that's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and head to the store. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we can. <gasps> Jesus Christ! Oh my God! What's happening? <laughs> this fucking thing <laughs> almost killed me. Come and play with us. Stir it. Uh, it's the pre pre na pre drinkers. It's a uh, pre game for dinner. This is a pre game for dinner. I'm telling you what, I'm not a martini drinker, and I'm not going to be drinking a whole lot of it. <laughs> One hour later. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. <laughs> All right, y'all, how are we doing? How are we doing? First and foremost, thank you guys for being here. 100K, I have nobody to thank but you guys. Players making plays, that's what we're doing. But today is gonna be a lot different. A lot different. I'm gonna be making just a couple cocktails for you guys. Now, I wanna introduce simpler cocktails first, and then as the series goes on, we can start incorporating more stuff and get complex with it. So the first drink I'm gonna teach you guys is a martini. It's two simple ingredients. Uh, it's gonna be Tito's vodka. You can use another vodka if you prefer. And then you're gonna need uh, dry vermouth. I'm not too experienced, uh, experienced on vermouth, as you can hear, but uh, this has always been the go-to at all the bars that I use, so this is what we're gonna be using today. So there's actually three ingredients. Ice being the final ingredient. First things first, get your cup of ice. Full cup, a full cup, a f oh damn, a full cup. <laughs> now you're gonna use two ounces of vodka. Two shots of vodka. Now I'm gonna be using a jigger, that's what this thing is called, for the first couple of videos. I'm rusty. I'm a little rusty with my bartending. I gotta get back on my game. Two ounces. Vodka. One ounce. Dry vermouth. A crucial ingredient is ice. You need a full cup of ice. Full cup. Full cup. Full cup. Full cup. If your martini is not, um, I was gonna try and rhyme, but if your martini is not chilled, extra chilled, it's gonna get sent back. It's gonna get sent back. It, it will get sent back. There's also different variations you can make. Uh, some, some people prefer to throw olive juice in it and it is now a dirty martini. Um, if you drink those, well, shout out to you. Shout out to you because I don't know how you do it. We're gonna give this a nice shake. Thank you, sir. See that chilled glass? See that chilled glass? It's gotta be like this or it'll get sent back. And you gotta look in their eyes when you're hitting them with this. Now, oh, the frothiness is there. We're back in the booth, not a DJ booth. Oh, oh, damn, 
damn, this is a big martini glass. This is looking skimpy. But just go ahead and take a nice look at that. It's not bad. It really doesn't take like, you wanna come take a taste. Cameraman Connor in the building. First impressions of the cocktail, what are you thinking? Just, it, it's just been a while since I've I just don't like I just don't like vodka at all. So after doing the martini, I realized a couple of things. One, I'm gonna introduce the glassware that the cocktail is gonna go in first. That makes sense, right? You will need a bucket glass to build your old fashioned. Start off with ice. That double that double ice cube is clean. annoying. I went ahead with a small batch single malt uh, bourbon. It's straight from Kentucky. Are you from Kentucky? Comment down below. All right, now two ounces. Okay. Boom. This right here is a simple syrup, house made by uh, yours truly. It is um, taking syrup form. This is gonna be a little difficult to stir up. <laughs> it's usually supposed to be a little bit thinner. It's a little thick. Ain't nothing wrong with a little thickness. Uh, <laughs> Something significant to the old fashioned. You don't shake an old fashioned, you stir it. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bitters. That ice is melting quick. Let's move faster. Fuck. So we got a couple kinds of bitters that we're gonna put in this. The first kind, Angostura. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. I'm gonna just hit this with the two dashes of the Angostorus bitters. Angostorus. That was, um, that was two for sure. Now two of these bad boys. I love the orange way more personally. And I tend to get the smaller bottles so that doesn't usually happen, but hey. Fuck it, right? Did anything even come out of this? Yeah, okay. I haven't even drank yet. Now, both bitters are in the cup with the sugar. You're gonna give it a couple of twirls here. A couple of twirls. Now, something you have to do, you have to do it for an old fashioned to hit just right fresh ice in the new cup. That is melted ice. You don't want that in your fresh baby. Dude, the double ice cubes will be the death of me. Wee wee. Ooh. Ooh, I got a foot cramp. <laughs> what the fuck? Ouch. Last time when we finished our DJ video. Thank you. Thank you. It's melting all over. Get that out. Okay, excess water. We don't need it. We don't need it. Is this gonna fit? You gotta make do with what you can, right? Over the fresh ice, over the fresh ice. Okay? Now I know what you're thinking. You're gonna try it now. No, not yet. Freshly, beautifully ripe orange and peel that. Just peel that. Get a good one though. Get a good one though. Damn, it's been forever since I used a peeler. Okay, here we go. Look at that one. You see the difference? I know you saw the difference. Now what we're gonna do with this, we're gonna hit the top of the cup, rolling it, rolling it, expressing those oils. Let the oils talk. I'm not, I'm done talking. Let the oils talk. I'm expressing and you gotta rub that orange all over the top of your cup, drop it in. I give it a nice stir at the end too. Don't judge me. Boom. Old fashioned. Now, now, now we try it. Oh man. Oh man, it takes me back. Way, way back. That martini over there, just don't talk about it for the rest of the episode. Okay. Uh, one out of 10, what are you thinking? This is definitely a solid eight. Eight's my favorite number. You know, you're an eight. <laughs> Honestly, I think, really good. I think Old Fashions are my favorite cocktail. Me too. You have a favorite? Bruh. It's, it's not too complicated. You're not putting any too much fruit in it. You just kind of get the citrus first. Mm-hmm. And that's why I wanted to do it Old Fashioned first because a lot of cocktails, they have like five ingredients in it and it's just way too sugary. These are very, very simple ingredients. This one has a little bit of sugar in it. Damn, I didn't even muddle in a cherry. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say something, but um, I just, I wanted to, to- You just wanted me to fuck up on camera and post it on YouTube for everybody to see? Yeah. Fair. Okay, cool. So we're actually gonna grab an Oktoberfest beer. Uh, it is a seasonally inspired beer. It only comes around, around October, you guessed it. It's actually one of my favorite styles of beer. 
he got me hooked on it. He's worked at probably four or five breweries. Around there. Yeah. Please count. Yeah, he's he's the reason I drink beer, so you know. Bugs going in it. There's already bugs going in it. That's probably part of the Oktoberfest tradition too. So what I'm gonna talk about now is this Oktoberfest beer. For those of you who don't know what Oktoberfest is, it's a special event that happens in Munich, Germany for two weeks and it ends on the first weekend in October. So it's actually like a pre-October celebration. In celebration of the marriage of the Crown Prince ba ba Bavaria. And then people got married and then they made Oktoberfest and now, now we're in California drinking this shit and it's lit. California. Damn, that's some good beer. But the difference with this beer as to other beers, it's very close to an amber beer. So it's gonna be uh, very malty in the body. Um, it's actually a lot lighter than maltier beers are. Ambers tend to have like a very thick body to them. This one, it, you kind of get that initially when you're sipping it, but then as you continue to drink it, just kind of nice crisp finish, which is actually really nice. I'm, I, I didn't rate the martini, so I got to go back and rate the martini. Two out of 10. I gave it two because uh, there's still a good amount of alcohol and you will catch a buzz. Old fashioned, you said eight. I'm going to go ahead and say like nine for me, nine or 10, probably because I just made it so good. Um, sure. Yeah, this, uh, this is a cool, a cool seven or eight. Definitely a cool seven or eight. I love the exclusive exclusivity of it. It's nice. Maybe that's what makes it taste better because it's only here for a short amount of time. You could go ahead and pick up some Oktoberfest beer and tell me what you think about it. And comment down below. <laughs> it's a lot of bugs. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, we can. <gasps> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh my god! What's happening? <laughs> this almost killed me! <laughs> ah, ah.